everyone, Mimi here, and I have a new doll review. I have a new Barbie fashionista. This is 69, and she is, is called Blue Beauty. She is a tall, she's a tall Barbie. I wanted one with the, in the tall body size, because I recently got an original Barbie body size that came with an extra dress. I will uh, link the link to the video below for her. But right here, I don't you guys probably won't be able to see it, but it has the number 69 and then it says Blue Beauty along here with an image of her. Now the new, other new one that I got did not have a name on it. Um I cannot remember. I think it was like sweet and sporty. It's one of the kind of newer ones that comes with a doll and one extra outfit that retails for like $14.99 I think. Uh, this lovely lady here, I got her for about $9.99, which is about the average price when I went around pricing. I got her from Target and I am turning the thing on the camera the wrong way. So I'm trying to adjust. That's not working. I don't know why that's not working. So yeah. Uh, I don't know how new, I'm pretty sure she, at least last year, she's not one of the newest, newest ones. So, uh, oh my gosh, I did not even realize that I ordered her, they brought, pulled her out from the store. It was shut the store because I was trying to save some money, now I have to pay on shipping. I don't know if that, she was broken like that in the store or if I broke her on the way home. Well, that's a nice thing to find out now. So I'm going to pause and finish getting her out of the box, which is already one step closer considering there's that. So be right back, guys. Alright guys, here she is out of the box, blending in with the background a little. So um, I did get her, like I said, I got her shipped to store, so be careful with the boxes. I've noticed sometimes you do get better quality boxes when they are being from like the distribution centers I think and whatnot when they haven't had damaged off the shelf so I will zoom in and go on her face um, in a moment because also I'm going to touch on a issue with her hair but first I'm going to show you guys her outfit which is actually it's really cute it's yeah it's a one piece it's just kind of sad this would have been nice I really like the top this is not my most favorite skirt it is cute it's a cute outfit but it would have been nice to have this top with other skirts or pants even. So it's a kind of a, I believe they call, refer to this as a cold shoulder. Oh, got a little tag there so it doesn't come ruffling up. But this pretty little ruffle part to it. It's a nice little soft cottony kind of knit fabric. And then she has, it's it's simple, but it does have the white detailing down there, so, and it's, fu now this is fuzzy, this is kind of like t-shirt fabric, this is almost kind of fuzzy, not quite like felt, but it is like more fuzzy material, get her in the light here. She does come with a pair of sunglasses, which I'll show on her head, and the other, you see the long legs. But it's actually really cool having the tall body. And then she's, if she'll cooperate, I'm losing my voice. And these really pretty red heels. They're kind of. Alright, uh, I'm having slightly technical difficulties. So we'll put these here. That's the wrong we'll zoom. We'll zoom in, not zoom out. So you guys can see. Now these heels are really cool. Now she's a heeled foot. The last Barbie I got had flat feet. Which is cool, but um, disappointing at the same time when I discovered I only had one extra pair of flats and a whole bunch of pairs of heels due to the extra outfits I'd gotten from my other dolls. So they're sort of, they're a pretty little anklet style. I think there's detailing. I'm having to look at it past the visor. I know this is like zooming in really way weird for you guys, so sorry about that. There you go, but it looks like there is a little bit of detailing. I don't know if that's supposed to be a buckle or just a B. There is stitching on the shoe, so I mean, they're, they're, they're not plain, but they're simple. But at the same time, they do have some nice detailing to them. 
So while we are zoomed in, now you guys can see her pretty face. She does have the... They don't do, I don't think they've done it with a whole lot of the dolls, but she is looking off to the side. Um, if you're familiar with Monster High, they did that with... Uh, Monica? Yeah, Monica. But she has, she's really, she has really pretty nice soft brown eyes. I don't think they're, they're like two, ta two shades brown. And a very sort of natural looking lip. Um, it's not mauve. It, it's kind of a nudie color. She doesn't have any earrings. She does have a little bit of eyeshadow actually. It's a little bit of brown like on the top part of her eye. You guys have to pardon the squeaks from the table, but I have to rest my arm here for a moment. Ah, sorry guys, let me move her back. There we go. There we go. Now hopefully you can see her better. So she, she's really pretty. Out of all the- this is the one I liked the best out of all the talls. So you can see she comes with some sunglasses which are taped in there. Oh, you can see through them because you guys can see my fingernail. So they're not like the solid color sunglasses. They're actually where you can like see through. That's gonna be cool. Now, she does have very pretty hair. It's this really nice light blue, and it looks like there's two shades of light blue. There's one that's just a little bit paler than the other. Her. One way or another here, so you guys can hopefully see the variations of the blue. And the issue that I have, can you guys see can you all see what I'm the um slight issue there might be I don't expect them to put you know like blue on the skin but it would be nice to have just flesh tone or at least a lighter flesh tone to match with the blue I'm not sure why there's brown why there's darker brown I have nothing with the darker brown it just it's when it's striped like that it's just that doesn't make any sense for it to not all be one tone color let alone do you see how thin this is? I mean, there's a lot in there. I've got to get it back up. Sorry, guys. I mean, this is really thin. I mean, it's... It is and it isn't that. Like, at least there's enough hair in each little clump to make it look like full hair. But... What is going on, Mattel? I mean, that's bad enough that... They do this with the Monster High dolls and some Ever After High dolls. But I would have thought they would have put a little bit more effort into their Barbie. So honestly, that's disappointing. I mean, at least from the front, she has enough hair. It doesn't look thin. It does... It doesn't have to be a puffball, but... It just, especially, you know, if you're a little kid and playing, I mean, maybe, I guess little kids probably wouldn't really care, but... I don't know. It just bothers me that they can't... They've had this issue for a couple of years now. Why they haven't sort of fixed it to where, you know, the hair is not quite so thin. It, you can't even see her head. See, this is how tall she is. She can't even fully fit into the camera. Barely she can. I'm going to leave her back here for just a second because I brought up this one. This is the doll that I got. Now she is wearing flats because she has flat feet. I can't. Oh, oh, out of reach. Out of reach. I'm gonna have to hold these here for just a second. All right. Now one. She, her legs. Get, quit that. Quit crossing your feet. Okay. So you guys can see now she is on. She is flat-footed. The original body. So the, the tall body is wearing heels. Now they are not chunky platform heels. So she's pretty well on her tiptoes, but this is the size difference between the original body and the tall body. And I think this is really cool that they've got the different body types between the tall, the petite, and the curvy. I really want a curvy doll. Some of them are really pretty. That is my next venture, is to try and find the Barbie and the Rockers curvy doll, or there's a curvy doll in this line where they have one extra outfit that I would love to get. She's really pretty. She's got freckles and curly hair and she's just she's beautiful. Just like this lovely lady right here. So thank you so much for watching guys. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscription button. A little link to it will be around here somewhere along with a link to one of our other videos. So go check that out. 
Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time we put up a video. You'll find out quicker that way. Also, if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to go check out all of our other doll reviews along with blind bags and other goodies that we have around the place. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, and you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. Hope you guys have a great day, evening. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.